Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Y'all, this morning, it's just been, it has just been so tough. It has just been, I've just felt very tried. I felt tried. I don't even know how to keep going. This morning I woke up and I had a message from my dear friend here on Twitter. His name's Michael. You know him, Michael B. Petty. And he was just sharing the news that Chantal has quit YouTube. <laughs> If y'all don't believe me, just look at the screenshot. She says, and now let me take these glasses off because I can't read. Um, she says, hey guys, I was supposed to be back on December 12th, but after careful thought, I've decided not to use YouTube as a platform anymore. They'll, they allow more and more bully channels on here, including Kiwi Farms, which now supposedly has caused three women to commit suicide for bullying and harassment. I've reported this video as it is nothing but fat shaming. The internet is a dark, demoralizing place and I no longer feel comfortable. Y'all, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do without Chantal? I don't, I don't, I, don't, I can't do this. I can't do YouTube without Chantal. This is it. So y'all, I prepared this. You know how they got the, the like in memoriam for, for folks. You know how they got that at like the award shows at the Oscars, at the, at the, you know, the award shows. <laughs> well, I prepared some special memorial footage for her YouTube channel because I don't want to live in a world where Chantel is not on YouTube. people are disappointed in me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> but if it wouldn't be bad to eat it, I don't know, maybe we'd want to eat it excessively to the extreme, which people do anyways. <laughs> For a lot of these stories, there may have been no peen and vagine interaction. So they're not really lovers, but for the sake of this series, they are. <laughs> Thumbs down! So basically, um, it was a night when I was going with this one girlfriend of mine to this local bar. <laughs> then, you know, came around to the bar closing and I got that feeling like, oh, I don't want to go home and I want to get laid, you know? Anyway, if I don't do a book one tomorrow, you know why? <laughs> As I'm walking home, I see this guy. Not. He wasn't too scruffy looking, but he was kind of scruffy, you know? He was really cute. He looked like Brad Renfro. We started talking, and I was just like, I was attracted to him, you know? And I think he just, I don't know, he just really wanted some or something, you know? So, like, let's go sit on the rock and, you know, have a cigarette. My cigarettes, but whatever. He was homeless, give him a break. It was a really gentle kisser. Found a rock, a big rock. We did it, on the rock, near the harbor. <laughs> Still gonna be hungry after this, I can tell. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. What did he smell like? That's what I would wonder. He didn't smell too homeless. Like, you know, he smelled a little, little, little bit like malt vinegar, but I think it was coming from his feet and not his privates. So that was good, you know? Uh, <laughs> he might not want to come on camera naked. I like need veggies in my lasagna, you know? Okay. All right, here goes nothing. Mm. 
Oh. Thank you so much, Chantal, for the content that you've provided us up to this point. You know, I, I know you're only doing what's best for you, and I know you surely will not change your mind. I know that this is something that you really, really, really care about, and I know you're doing this for yourself, and that you would never change your mind. What do you mean I would never change my mind? Of course I would change my mind. I change my mind on the daily. Y'all, so if you thought Chantal was going anywhere, you are boo-boo the fool. You, are, you must have been born yesterday because she can't stick to anything. Literally, Michael messaged me that, that picture, that image, and said, how long do you think this will last? I have not done any research. I just read what he sent me, and I was like, oh, I don't know, like... She actually hasn't been putting a lot of content out there lately. Maybe this is it. Maybe BB left her. Who knows? And then all it took was me going to her channel and she had already deleted that post and posted a new one. She actually posted two new posts. Three new posts? She posted a lot. One of them was no longer there and it's this one that I'm going to put up here, over here. Let me just make sure I'm out of the way. But she says, so I was going to leave YouTube and let those losers win. I just got this in my inbox from my stalker, who's that weirdo former friend some of you feel sorry for. Uh, I think she's referring to the one that uh, she called CPS on, if you recall. This actually motivated me to keep going and unapologetically share my life with you so that she and others can watch me live a great one while they sit behind their broken computers. Mine is not broken, it's working. Uh, and obsess over mine instead of living theirs. I am living my life to the fullest. I guess instead of whining about these people hating on me, I should thank them. Yeah, I think I've said that. Like, your channel gets a lot of views because of us. So once I get back on Tuesday, I will be posting like crazy. Can't wait because none of this that you posted today has been crazy in the wee hours of the morning. Love you all. LOL, by the way, this person has two kids they are setting a lovely example for. Those low blows, Chantal, you clearly haven't learned anything. Those low, low blows. You love to come for people's kids when their kids did nothing to you, girl. Their kids did absolutely nothing to you. So, if you thought that was all, she also posted a screenshot of some gifts that BB supposedly brought back to her. She's going to do an African clothing try-on haul or something like that. I don't know. I'm sure that that is not going to be offensive and will be totally 100% chill, very cool, very legal. So, she deleted the post about the, the stock or whatever, and she later posted this post. <laughs> Okay, last post, just so I don't confuse you guys. I, guess what? People are confused if they didn't see your two prior posts, so it's a good thing I have screenshots and I'm including it here for any of your followers who might be confused. I was being dramatic. Sometimes it all gets to me. So in a moment of weakness, I wanted to give up on my channel. What a surprise. That's literally you every two weeks. Then I got a very hateful message and it had the opposite effect. It motivated me to keep going. I haven't done an update in a while, so you haven't had a chance to see how my life is really changing for the better. Show me. Show me, Chantal. I want the receipts. I want the receipts. Show me how your life is changing for the better. You literally just had a meltdown on the internet and threatened to quit your channel. <laughs> like, tell me about how your life is going great, girl. Sometimes being faced with constant negativity is difficult, but no, I know no matter how tough it gets, I need to plow through and just ignore ignore and focus on myself. I will update you soon. So we're ready, Chantal. We're ready. Get rid of this funeral outfit. So I'm personally ready for whatever this new chapter in Chantal's life brings just so that we can repeat this whole cycle again in two weeks, y'all. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Did BB leave her? Is she going to do more mukbangs? Has she lost weight? These are questions that remain unanswered, and I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever this brings. So, 
you know, if we need to pull out the funeral garb again in the future, I'm ready for that too. But right now, I just really believe in Chantel. I can't wait to see what this new greatness is gonna bring, you know? Like, she has really improved herself and I'm dying to see what that looks like on her channel. If you all enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'm always here for some shenanigans, you know? And make sure to leave me some comments and hit the like button. And also follow me on all of my social media right here, down below, you know where to find it. And I really enjoyed this video today. I had a lot of fun with y'all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!